The tracked infantry fighting vehicle, IFV, known to the British Army as the Warrior was originally known as MCV-80. It was intended to replace the old FV for 32 armoured personnel carrier. This vehicle was developed from the 1970s onwards. A series of pre-production prototypes built in the early 1980s. Production by GKN Defence commenced during 1986. At the time of its introduction it was one of the best IFVs in the world. The Warrior has been in British Army service since 1988, seeing combat in the Gulf in 1991 and during recent military actions in Iraq and Afghanistan. Production of this armoured vehicle ceased in 1995. The original order was for over 1,000 units, but army reorganizations reduced that to 789 of all types sufficient to equip seven mechanized infantry battalions. A total of 384 warriors were produced in the infantry section vehicle form. Another 105 warriors were used as anti-tank guided missile team carriers. The British Army plans to operate these armored fighting vehicles until 2035 version of the Warrior, the Desert Warrior, has been exported to Kuwait. The base model is the FV-510 Warrior section vehicle armed with a non-stabilized 30mm Raden cannon, and coaxial 7.62mm machine gun in a two-man turret. The main gun fires armor-piercing and HEFRAG rounds. It is capable of single fire or automatic firing. Maximum rate of fire is 80 rounds per minute. This cannon has a dual-fed system and the gunner can instantly swap types of ammunition. The Raden cannon is regarded as a very accurate weapon. It can destroy enemy armored personnel carriers and other lightly armored vehicles at ranges of up to 1-500m. It can also engage low-flying helicopters. However due to the lack of stabilization this gun can not fire accurately while the vehicle is on the move. The Warrior IFV has an all-welded aluminum armor hull and laminated steel armor turret. It provides all-round protection against 14.5mm armor-piercing rounds. Fontarc is likely to withstand 25mm armor-piercing rounds. During military conflicts vehicles are fitted with extra passive armor panels and cage armor for improved protection. Add-on belly plate improves survivability against mine blasts and improvised explosive devices. Cage armor protects against RPG rockets and anti-tank guided missiles. But these are not normally carried during peacetime operations. This armored fighting vehicle is also fitted with NBC protection system. For operation at night the Warrior is fitted with thermal imaging equipment. The seven troops carried enter through a door in the hull rear. Passengers enter and leave the vehicle via rear doors. Once they are inside there are sufficient combat supplies carried to maintain them in action for at least 48 hours. There are no firing ports in the hull in order to improve armor protection. The Warrior IFV is powered by a Perkins CV8 TCA turbocharged diesel engine, developing 550 horsepower, engine is located at the front. It is mated to an Allison for speed automatic transmission. Engine and transmission are built in one module and can be replaced in field conditions within 40 minutes. Warrior is fast for its class of vehicles. With a maximum road speed of 75 km per hour it can keep up with Challenger 2 MBTs over the toughest terrain. Warriors may be fitted with dozer blades or light mine clearing plows. Several trial armament installations have been tested on Warrior including one with a 90mm gun turret. British vehicles have seen frequent use and are undergoing an upgrade program. It includes new armor, new turret and 40mm cannon. Over 600 of these IFVs will be upgraded to keep them in service. Remaining warriors will be converted to armored recovery vehicles. Variants FV-510 is a baseline warrior infantry section carrier, as described above. A total of 384 were produced for the British Army. FV-511 Command Vehicle Externally it is similar to the baseline FV-510 IFV. A total of 84 vehicles were built. FV-512 Armored Repair Vehicle Officially referred as Mechanized Combat Repair Vehicle, or MCVR. It is equipped with a crane and power tools. It can tow trailer with two Warrior Power Packs or one Challenger Power Pack. Its armament is limited to a single 7.62mm machine gun. A total of 105 of these vehicles were produced. FV-513 Repair and Recovery Vehicle 
officially referred as Warrior Mechanized Recovery Vehicle, Repair. Like the FV512 it is fitted with a crane and power tools. It also has a powerful recovery winch. It is also capable of towing trailer with power packs. Its armament is limited to a single 7.62mm machine gun. A total of 39 of these vehicles were built. FV514 Artillery Observation Vehicle Officially it is referred as Warrior Mechanized Artillery Observation Vehicle MAOV. It is fitted with a mast-mounted surveillance and target acquisition radar. It is also fitted with position and azimuth determining system, image intensifying and infrared equipment. Its 30mm cannon is replaced by a dummy weapon, as internal space was taken over by specialized equipment. The FV514 is armed only with a 7.62mm machine gun. Externally it resembles a standard warrior. A total of 52 of these vehicles were produced. FV515 Artillery Command Vehicle Externally it is similar to the baseline FV510 IFV. A total of 19 of these vehicles were built. FV-516 Anti-Tank Guided Missile Team Carrier It is similar to the baseline FV-510 Warrior IFV, but was equipped with Milan Anti-Tank Guided Missiles. Eventually, it was armed with newer Javelin Anti-Tank Guided Missiles. British Army operates a total of 105 of these vehicles. Armoured Ambulance A total of six British Warrior IFVs were converted to armoured ambulances for operation in Afghanistan. Desert Warrior is a special hot weather version, developed for export. It has been ordered by Kuwait in 1993. It is locally known as Faris. This model has a different Delco turret, as used on USLAV-25 armored reconnaissance vehicle. It is armed with a fully stabilized Bushmaster 25mm cannon and can fire accurately one the move. There is also a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun. Furthermore turret of the Desert Warrior is fitted with two TOW anti-tank guided missile launchers. Operational vehicles are often seen with add-on explosive reactive armor kit. A total of 254 Desert Warriors were built. Warrior 2000 was a version proposed for the Swiss Army. Never reached production. Verdi 2 was a technology demonstrator, built in 1993. It was fitted with a 40mm cannon and eight Star Streak short-range air defense missiles. This vehicle was also equipped with air defense alerting devices. Never reached production.